Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Melody and I will be showing you how I created that beautiful wispy look that you guys just saw in the last clip. Let's get into it. Okay, so here are all the products that I'll be using in today's video to achieve this look. These are just the products that I preferred using, but you can really switch these products out with whatever brand that you prefer. I'll have all the products linked in my description. So for every new set that I do, the very first step that I do on my clients is to cleanse their lashes, okay? You want to make sure that their lashes are squeaky clean. You don't want any residue, any oil, dirt, nothing on those lashes, okay? So make sure you go in real good and get those lashes clean. So now I'm setting up my lash tile. All of these lashes that I'm using in this video are from TheEyelash.com. I'm using their premium collection lashes and I so love them. They're very soft, they're super easy to fan. And they were actually kind enough to send me a code for you guys, which is MEL10 for 10% off of your order. Happy shopping! So now you can watch how I like to tape down the bottom lashes. First I go in with these gel under eye pads, make sure they're nice and snug on my client's eyes and also making sure that they are comfortable on her. So when you're doing this on your client, always make sure that you take this time to readjust if you need to like I just did and ask them if they're comfortable, ask them how they feel, if they feel any poking, etc. And then I proceed with my two pieces of tape. I put them down in this V shape to make sure that all of her baby lashes are taped down. I don't want them sticking up because that's gonna cause really annoying problems later on. And now taking my two micro swabs and a little dab of primer, you're gonna want to prime those lashes thoroughly, okay? I don't do this with all of my clients, but because this model has oilier skin type, I decided to go ahead with some primer, just to be on the safe side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure my glue is shaken up for a good minute with my glue shaker. And just note for this part, you don't want your glue bottle to be upside down when you shake it. Remember to keep the bottle upright for this part. All right, now for the fun part. So for this mapping style, it's very important that you keep everything super organized and clear for you so that you don't get anything confused with the lengths. If you're mi using mixed curls, that you don't get those confused. So you can see me here mapping um, the wispy styling. So for the first, the shorter bottom layer, I'm using the lengths 9, 10, 11, 12, jump up to 14, and then go back to 13, okay? So this is kind of like a squirrel eye that I'm doing on my model, just to suit her eye shape the best. The top layers, I'm going in with the 12 length, 13, 14, 15, jump up to 17. And I am using D curl for both of these layers. Although for the spikes, I am using 0.03 and for the volume fans, I'll be using 0.05 because my client had really, really straight down turning lashes, I went ahead and used little thin strips of tape to um, pull the eyelids up just a little bit, just enough so that it can help the application process be a lot easier for me. All right, so we can finally start lashing now. I'm going in with my 0.03 spikes for the wispy look first. I always start off with the spikes first so that I can really like curate the design and customize everything so that it's even and leveled. Whenever I apply spikes to any set, I always make sure that I'm applying those spikes to the very top layer of the lashes, not the middle and definitely not the bottom layer of lashes. This is so that um, when you open your eyes, the spikes are at the very top and they rest very pretty just on top of the volume fans and give it that ultimate wispy look. One time I did 
accidentally put the spikes when I was a beginner at the very bottom layer of the lashes and when she had opened her eyes you could barely notice the wispiness because the lengths just disappeared with the volume fans so the gap of the lengths wasn't big enough so just remember spikes are applied to the top layer <laughs> So I finished applying all the spikes to each side. I alternate between both eyes and it looks a little funky at first, but just trust the process. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is exactly the point where my camera battery died. And so I switched over to my iPhone, which is why the quality is not the same, but that's okay. We're just gonna roll with it. So now we're going in with our regular volume fans in D curl, but 0.05, not 0.03 in diameter. But yeah, I'm just gonna plug in those fans, make sure they attach properly, make sure I'm isolating properly. All right, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy just this time lapse of me lashing, and I will be back soon. So now you can see me taking another gel iPad and just using that to kind of like tape back the fans that I already have attached to her lashes. I know it looks crazy you guys, but bear with me. This is what you have to do to get a fire set, okay? But look at how amazing this method just reveals these beautiful lashes that I can lash. It's just, it makes my life so much easier when I do this and I can see clearly, my eyes are not straining as much and I can get a cleaner application this way. And this is what the layer looks like after I've lashed all the bottom lashes. Okay, so we're almost done this beautiful wispy set. Now I'm going in with my mirror just to see what the clients are going to see when they open their eyes and to see that the angle looks good, everything is even, the direction is proper, if I'm missing any lashes for any stickies, things like that.
this is what the lashes are looking like from the mirror. I just wanted to include this POV so you guys can see. But look how cute they're looking. I love it. So now we're going in with our Super Bonder and our Nano Mister. I'm just lightly going to Nano Mist the lashes just so that they adhere properly and they cure. And then I'll go in with my Super Bonder using micro swabs and make sure that all the lash bases are coated with that. Finally, after all that is done, I'm going back with my mirror to quadruple check at this point just to make sure that there are no stickies, that the lashes are looking clean and beautiful, and making any last minute adjustments. So now I'm going to remove all the tape and the eye pads, the most satisfying part of the whole service for the clients. I love doing this part because they always like, they're just so happy when I take the eye pads off. guys a full volume wispy lash set done on asian eye specifically i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for joining me while i lash and if any of you recreate this look i would love to see your creations make sure to tag me on instagram at kim Aesthetics. the link will also be in my bio and i will see you guys in my next video bye